Is it the same? Oh, I don't know. That's what I'm like. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah.
on, he said it's live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Amity College Boys High School Graduation Assembly for 2022, 2021. Before we proceed with this afternoon's program, there are some safety measures that we must adhere to. For the success of this event, may I ask that masks are kept on throughout the duration of this ceremony and all guests remain seated and socially distanced. We, of course, understand that you will all want to take photos to commemorate this event. We have organised a photographer that will take photos throughout the ceremony and share them with students via Google Drive. At the conclusion of this event, there will be an opportunity for family members to take photos with our graduates. We kindly ask that despite the excitement, all guests abide by our safety measures. In the spirit of reconciliation, Amity College acknowledges the traditional custodians of country throughout Australia and their connection to land, sea and community. We pay our respects to elders past and present and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people today. Distinguished guests, dedicated teachers and proud parents of the 2021 graduating class of Amity College, welcome. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Miss Julia Prykaza and I am honoured to be your host this afternoon. An event that will allow us to acknowledge the true achievement of the cohort. May we have a special welcome to our graduates as they enter the room.
Graduation ceremonies are traditionally a celebration of academic achievements and a showcase of memories that have been made in years past. This graduation will be so much more. Today, we acknowledge the resilience and strength that our Year 12 students have shown in a year unlike any other. As students enter their final years of high school, there is an expectation that the year will bring highs, lows, challenges and emotions. But this year has seen events that have isolated and separated students from the comfort of their peers. This year has also seen events that has brought us together like never before. We have comforted each other, we have grieved, and we have grown together. As a cohort, these students have faced the obstacles that stood before them and are graduating knowing that this year has been a year of growth. We are here today to celebrate their achievements, honour their memories, and showcase their desire for togetherness. I know I speak on behalf of all of the teachers and principals when I say that we are proud of your achievements. It is now with great pleasure that I introduce the Boys High School principal, Mr. Hassan Dala, to the stage to say a few words. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, dear parents, staff, and class of 2021. I would like to extend my warmest welcome to you all and thank you for gathering here on this special and memorable occasion. Allow me first to praise the class of 2021. Gentlemen, you have successfully made your way through high school and you are now graduating. Well done. Indeed, 2021 has been a very taxing year for all of us, and in particular for you. Emotionally, psychologically, physically, socially, and academically, it affected you all to various degrees. In the beginning of the year, we were shaken by the devastating loss of one of your most kind, loving, and gentle friends. Words couldn't describe the sorrow we all went through while we were trying to recover, while you were trying to recover from the pain of this tragedy, then came physical isolation of lockdown, which brought a lot of worries and additional stress due to online trial exams. And if that were not enough, your HSC exams were postponed. I can't remember any other U12 cohort in my career that experienced a tough U12 journey to this extent. However, Regardless of all these difficulties, each one of you has shown great resilience, patience, and perseverance in these tough times and have finally come to the finish line in your high school education. We are proud of you all. Now, I would like you to take a moment and think for a while about those times during this journey. The times that you were stressed, emotionally down, perhaps about to give up, or the times that you were really excited and happy due to your achievements on the way. Just think about the people who were always next to you during those times, people who never deprived their support from you on your bad and good days, people who, were nev people who you were and will always be grateful for, your parents, your carers, your support givers, some of those people are in this room or in front of their screens joining us online on this very special day and watching you with pride. Therefore, graduates, may I please invite you all to stand up. Please, may I ask you to stand up and, a, and give a big round of applause 
to these amazing people in your lives. Thank you very much. You may be seated now. I would also like to thank them for their faith and trust in us, your support and trust at every stage of, your, of their schooling was very meaningful and deeply valued. I would also like to express my gratitude to the other heroes of this journey, our dedicated teachers and support staff for their efforts in helping our graduating students. These students, the future awaits you. The real power of creating and being responsible for your own future is unlimited. From now on, you will make decisions on your own more than ever. You will decide what you study at university, the lectures you will attend, your career, where you want to be, and what you want to do in future years. You will experience enormous joy in determining your path and enjoy its benefits. Of course, there will be challenges ahead, but when you are determined to succeed, you will handle what hurdles come, or come your way. Most importantly, you will decide, you will determine what kind of person you will be. It is important because some of your decisions will not affect your personal lives only, but the lives of people around you or people who you live in the same society. Therefore, I would like you to take this opportunity to share a quote as a piece of advice for you which I get inspired by and try to practice in my own decisions. The code goes like this. In today's selfish world, society already has people who are indifferent to the events, both positive and negative. The world needs people who care, people who respect others, including their beliefs, backgrounds, and values. It needs people who are wise, people who are fair, people who are tolerant and understanding, people who aspire for positive change and innovation, people who develop and maintain strong friendships and remain loyal to their parents and communities. Amity College's mission is no different than raising individuals described in this code. I hope you take this advice on board and become one of those people. It is only then that Amity College would be considered to be fulfilling its mission. Lastly, I would like to thank our graduation committee, Ms. Jazz, Ms. Sushila, Ms. Sonia, Mr. Adam, Ms. Ruth, and our MC this afternoon, Ms. Julia, for this beautiful organization. I would also like to extend my appreciation further to our U12 coordinator, Ms. Jana, not only for today's event, but also for her continued efforts and hard work throughout the year for the boys. Thank you, Ms. Jana. In closing, thank you. In closing, I wish our graduates all the best in their future endeavors. As we always say to our graduates, this is not a goodbye, but see you soon. We would like to see you back at your second home, Amity College, as an active member of the alumni, as an employee, or as a parent. Thank you, and have a great afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Dala. 2021 has been a year of immense change for all of us. And our Year 12 boys were required to take these events in stride and adapt. And as a result, they have all reflected and learnt. They have memories that will last a lifetime and have learnt lessons that they will carry with them throughout the rest of their lives. I would like to call upon the 2021 school captain, Haytham Hoblos, and vice captain, Zaid Marabani to provide their reflections of this year and make their final address to our graduating class. Liverpool Hospital on the 29th of December, 2003. 
Two parents welcomed their second child into the world. The child's mother looked into her newborn son's eyes as her tears of pain then became tears of joy. Well, at least I hope so, given that that child grew up to be me. On the other hand, that father looked upon his son and internally vowed to protect him and show him what the world had to offer. Little did they know that their child was to face his own hardships, endure through his own dark days growing up, and yet go on to achieve so much and succeed in the midst of everything as a means of gratitude and appreciation for his parents. Liverpool Hospital on the 9th of January 2021. That same child, now a man, returned to his place of birth as the tears that once filled his mother's eyes with joy filled his own eyes with grief as by the passing of our beloved Adam Goz. Our friend, our classmate, and more importantly, our brother. 11 months ago, if I were to stand right here when he left us, my words would crumble simply because of how much of an impact he made on our lives. So I dedicate this graduation not only to my parents, but to our brother Adam Goz. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the cycle of life. We're hidden deep within a place of darkness, there is always light. And where there is struggle, there is always hope. And that's been the core of our year, the epitome of, the, of our 2021 cohort throughout our journeys of schooling. I can wholeheartedly say that this class of 2021 is the strongest group of men, and yes, I say men, that have ever, get, that have ever graced the doors of Amity College. This was no ordinary year. Together we've cried, we've smiled, we've laughed, but most importantly, we've held our heads up high through the toughest of battles. It's extraordinary to think that the one year we completed the HSE was the year the virus occurred. Till this day, it makes me proud knowing that it took a worldwide pandemic to hinder the most crucial year of our lives, and yet we still stand here today, celebrating and commemorating our triumphs through our morphing from adolescence to adulthood. We extract these successes off the back of our failures and tribulations, all the hardships that left us all alone to figure out how we'd overcome them. And as you all know, this year was filled with them. Maybe this was life's way of humbling us after everything we've achieved thus far, to keep us grounded and not to get too ahead of ourselves, so that we can go into our journey of life achieving the grace of successes and changing the world. Whether it was because of us leaving an assignment last minute, or just not having prepared enough for an upcoming exam, or getting in trouble for wearing trackies during PHP classes, we've all counted down the days until the end of our schooling lives. And now that we're here, we can all look back and reminisce what a journey it was. To all staff that have played a crucial role in my life, I thank you. Let this serve as a way to celebrate and commemorate the formidable role for which you have all dedicated your lives to. And that extends far beyond just educating, but rather illuminating the hearts and minds of every young individual, providing us with the means to triumph and succeed through the real world. A world filled with intricate personalities and challenges, not made for those who are weak, but rather for those who are strong. I feel as though it's not until our final years of schooling that we truly get to appreciate the extent of your guidance and realize what you've all been building us up for preparing us to transcend the limitations of our current world and to withhold all of your legacies and pass it on to future generations. As you continually inspire, we students will forever aspire to reach heights nobody thought possible. So once again, I thank you for allowing me to, for allowing me to put, place my best foot forward and for the opportunity to serve you as school captain. We tend to look to the most successful people to gain guidance, looking towards popular individuals, athletes, to give a sense of purpose. In doing so, we lose a touch of sight tainting our minds to forgetting how we even provided the means to be where we are today. Growing up, I always wondered why I was never able to resonate with any of these influential people, and why I was never granted aspirations to be as such, but rather be my own and create my own success story. It wasn't until I met maturity where I realized that all I've ever enjoyed through and strived for came off the back of my parents, my mother and father. I'd like, to say, I'd like to say a big thank you to you both. I came into the world, and you were there to do everything for me. I learned to let go of your hand when I took my first steps, but I knew you both still held me in your heart. Those first steps put me on a path toward my dreams and destiny, but no matter how far they have taken me, I've always felt the light of your love shining on my days. Thank you for having a heart so full of love that you were willing to share with me. Thank you for holding me close, no matter how far away from you I may wander. You're the luminance in my sky, and your love will forever light up my path and always guide my way. I love you, Mum and Dad. This year, God taught me strength. He taught me patience. He blessed me with struggle, and he gave me peace. On the 8th of December 2021, that child whose parents swore to protect, guide, and provide for him until he grew older, now stands here on this stage today as a man and promises to dedicate his life for, to making all his successes, his families, and tries best to repay them for all they have done. Class of 2021, congratulations boys, we made it. We are the gifts God gave to our families, and that is why we live in the present. 
but we live in the present to serve the future. We are the future. And our journeys have just begun. Thank you. Good afternoon, parents, teachers, distinguished guests, and my fellow graduating class of 21. I'd like to start by addressing what a year 2021 has been. We lost one of our most beloved friends right after coming out of a lockdown, only to go back into another one. And right when we thought it was over, HSC got pushed back by month, giving us another four weeks of studying, anxiety, and stress. But today isn't the day to look back on all the bad things we've experienced. Instead, we should reflect on all the good and euphoric memories we've made together. They say there's a first for everything. So while writing this speech, I decided to share some of my most memorable recollections that I experienced at Amity College for the first time. I remember in year eight, desperately trying to maintain eye contact with Miss Jazz after telling her I forgot to do my geo homework. That day still stands as one of my most fearful moments ever. In year nine, I remember the first time that I agreed to spot Tahir on the school's bench press and then turning around and seeing he was about to lift more than I weigh. I remember on my first day of school wondering why there was a year 12 boy in the back of our science class then finding out that that boy was in our grade and his name was Big O. <laughs> I remember my lungs being crushed while waiting for a snack pack at the school canteen. I remember the first time that I snapped a chain pass after Mr. Sullivan told me not to rock back on it. These memories are only scraping the surface of my life at Amity College and I have many people to thank for that. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents. I'd like to thank my dad for helping me build my independence and character while giving me an education and the tools to succeed in life. Here I am, graduating from Amity College with the help of you. And I'd have to say that Amity is definitely top three schools that I've been to. I'd like to thank my mum for the sleepless nights she had while I was typing loudly on my computer, for giving me life lessons when I felt I was in a difficult situation, for putting food in my stomach, for agreeing to get me supplies for assignments the night before they were due, and for putting more food in my stomach. <laughs> had either of my parents changed the way that they brought me up, I would not be the same person here speaking to you. I'd like to thank the teachers that I've had from, this, from the day I started in year eight. Although I, might, I may not have been the most attentive in class, all of you never failed to do your best in providing us with knowledge and, and skills that we will need that later down in the road. I'd like to specifically thank my five year 12 teachers, Ms. Jade, Ms. Ruth, Mr. Khalil, Ms. Sonia, and Mr. Biber. These five outstanding people chose to continue to provide us support and hold their classes through the roughest of times of pandemic and all encouraged me to do my best. And for that, I'd like to thank you. Finally, I'd like to thank my fellow peers graduating today. This cohort has some of the biggest personalities I've ever seen, and I treasure my friendship with each and every one of you. Thanks for agreeing to share notes on a subject with me the night before an exam, or giving me the extra dollar I needed for the fettuccine on Wednesday. <laughs> or most importantly, working hard at school through one of the toughest times, motivating me to do the same. I definitely would not be where I am here without the help of each and every single one of you, so thank you. Now, once this chapter closes, another one shall open, and I wish every single one of you good luck after today. Life is going to throw at you many trials and tribulations, and it's inevitable that you will lose some. But I want to leave with you the wise words of one of the world's most famous philosophers, poems, poets, and historical figures, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Sometimes, a loss is the best thing that can happen. It teaches you what you should have done next time. It's been an honor serving you all as vice captain, and congratulations again for the class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Haytham and Zaid. I would like to echo Haytham and Zaid when I say the passing of Adam Goz has impacted our school community deeply. I would like to invite Wessam Adam to present a special tribute. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You see, it was a hard fought battle for many of us and our families, and we couldn't have done it without them. As many of you all know, we lost a dear and kind heart this morning, uh, earlier this year. And while it brought pain and sorrow to many of our hearts, its effect on us was greater, was greater than we could have ever imagined. It brought us closer together, and I've seen every single one of you men grow tremendously to this day. In memory of Adam Goz, Allah Hamo, the school came together and proposed a new development to remember him. Together, after a long and hard year, and with the work of principals, the pastoral care program, the teachers, and the students, we can finally see the fruits of our labor. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Adam's Garden.
I would like to call Mrs. Rima Goz to the stage to collect a graduation pack on behalf of Adam. Rest in peace, Adam. To our graduating students, parents and staff, Adam's Garden will officially open on the 12th of December at 11 a.m. You are welcome to register and attend this opening event. Events such as graduations do allow us to reflect on the past, but also to look at the future with enthusiasm this ceremony is not only a review of the year that has passed, but also a hopeful look towards 2022. It has long been a tradition at Amity College for the captain and vice captain of the graduating class to pass the baton to forthcoming graduate classes. To exchange their badges, I now call upon the captain and vice captain of 2021 graduating class, Haytham Hablos, and Zaid Marabani, and Captain and Vice Captain for 2022, Taha Khan and Amir Marabani. Taha and Amir, good luck with the 2022 captaincy and vice captaincy. It is now time for our Subject Achievement Awards. I would like to invite Boys High School Principal, Mr. Hassan Dala, to the stage to present these awards. Our highest achiever award goes to students who have attained the top mark across Boys High School. And our top achiever award goes to students who have excelled across both Boys and Girls High School. Ibrahim Nasir is the top achiever in business services. Mohammed Mustafa is the top achiever in studies of religion too. Omar Yilmazlad is the top achiever in visual arts. <laughs> Bashar Yakub Agar is the top achiever in industrial technology.
Ali Murhi is the top achiever in studies of religion one. Mohammed Al Zahawi is the top achiever in legal studies. <laughs> Zaid Marabani is the top achiever in mathematics, standard two. Maksud Ozcan is the highest achiever in Turkish continuous. Muhammad Ahmed is the top achiever in English Advanced and Mathematics Advanced 2020. Adam Almanzord is a top achiever in modern history and PDHPE. <laughs> Emre Aknar is the top achiever in information, process and technology and English Standard. <laughs> Mohammed Al Kaisi is the top achiever in Mathematics Advanced, Chemistry and Business Studies. And Selim Aydouan is the top achiever in Biology, Economics and Business Studies 2020. In addition to celebrating academic achievement, we also acknowledge and celebrate their participation in extracurricular activities, which have enriched their school experience and earned them a range of accomplishments. Amity College has a growing tradition of sporting excellence and yearly participation in a range of competitive sports events. Omar Sari is presented with the Best and Fairest Award for ISD Touch Football. Abdullah Ayas is presented with the best and fairest for Aces football.
Marwan Khan Kayal is presented with the Best and Fairest for ISD Oztag. And Alan Harbush is presented with best and fairest for futsal and best and fairest for senior touch football. Congratulations to our award recipients. The Australian Defence Force Long Tan Award Program is a government award that is given to students who have demonstrated leadership and teamwork both in and outside of school. The ADA Long Tan Award is presented to Zaid Marabani. <laughs> this award is presented to Zaid for his dedication to building skills as a leader and using those skills to unify students to create long-lasting memories and valuable experiences. Zaid, you are acknowledged for inspiring the students around you, mentoring juniors at student leadership camp, and being the sole year 12 graduate of the public speaking course. Well done, Zaid. <laughs> the Australian Defence Force also recognises the value of STEM skills for personal and career opportunities they bring. The Future Innovators Award is presented to one student who skillfully combines creativity, science, and mathematics. The 2021 Future Innovators Award is presented to Muhammad Ahmed. Muhammad developed a locker operated by fingerprint scanner. Muhammad also attained a gold medal while representing Amity College in the engineering challenge in China. He currently mentors STEM students and is helping them further develop their innovative skills. Congratulations, Muhammad. As you are aware, the highest GPA award is given to one student who has demonstrated academic excellence across all fields of study. I would like to invite our Executive Principal of Amity College, Mr. Dennis Edouan, to the stage to present this prestigious award with me. It is with great pleasure that I announce the 2021 Amity College highest GPA achiever is Muhammad Ahmed. <laughs> Congratulations, Muhammad. As this year draws to a close, we are farewelling more than our Year 12 students. Our Executive Principal, Mr. Dennis Edouan, will be embarking on the next stage of his career as the Director of Educational Services 
at Australian Universal Federation. While Mr Edouan will no longer be our executive principal, he will not truly be leaving the Amity College family. His legacy as a leader, an ambassador, and an advocate for students, staff, and community will be long remembered. We wish you all the best of luck. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to say a few words. I can see everyone there, yes. Uh, yes, I'm leaving, and it is not about me. It is about new chapter of uh, life of our young gentlemen. Uh, yes, you are closing one chapter, which is high school years, and you have a brand new chapter in your life. And I'd like to take my moment to say a few words. Uh, this morning, I had a pleasure of having an interview with our SRC students. And they asked quite, some quite very challenging questions, to be honest. And when they asked a question around vision, it took me to our revisited uh, mission and vision statements. And when I explained this to them, and a following challenging question came through. And they said, how did you communicate this to your student's body? And we actually didn't. And because we revisited our mission and vision statement at right at the beginning of this year, towards the end of uh, term one, and we had shared our re uh, revised mission and vision statement with our middle leaders, with teachers, However, we couldn't have a chance to roll this out to our students, and probably today is my only chance as an outgoing executive principal to talk to our uh, new graduates uh, about our mission and vision statements, because there are things that they can take away uh, with those mission and vision statements. Mission statement, our mission statement is nurturing responsibility inspiring excellence. So throughout your journey at high school at MIT College, we try to instill responsibility, sense of responsibility in, in all of our students. And you exhibited a great example of it by coming together in the most difficult moment of this year. Right at the beginning of this year, unfortunately we lost one of our very beloved students with beautiful character, Adam Gus. And the solidarity, the support one to another that you have shown was amazing. You stood together and you stood next to the family and then all staff members came together. Actually, Adam Gus, Allah Yarhamu, and, and he, he unified entire school community. So beautiful. So that is the first part of our uh, mission statement, nurturing responsibility, inspiring excellence is the second part of our mission statement. That is what we are saying today. So you, you made through the most difficult year. And today you're graduating. And yes, you, you've been inspired to do the best, as best as you can. And uh, we are expecting some excellent results but in our understanding of achievement, I think I need to highlight this all the time, and I've been doing this uh, whenever I have an opportunity to talk about excellence and achievement. Academic achievement is not the only achievement that we are referring to. What you have achieved with Adam's Garden is the real success, that is the real achievement. And if you are able to help one another, if you are attending a needy person's needs, that is the real achievement. So academic success is only one segment of achievement. So inspiring excellence is our second part of our 
mission statement. And vision statement is navigating today. I think you're making a lot of, uh, or this year has been, has, the, has been the most significant and most difficult year for all, especially for your cohort. And reflecting upon your captain, your school captain, Hayden's speech. Yes, you are the most, you are the strongest man that we have ever seen in this school. And I congratulate you on, on your strength and your resilience. So you're navigating in today's challenges so beautifully, so strongly in solidarity. And we finish our vision statement with shaping tomorrow. Now the years that you will be shaping your tomorrow will start soon. And we're not talking about entire world. First of all, first of all, your own tomorrow and your friends tomorrow, your family, your, your surround, your community. And wherever you will be, whatever you will be doing, just try to do a little bit more. Not only, don't live your life only for yourself. Again, that, is, that would be very selfish. That is not the character attribute that we would like to see in our graduates. So shaping tomorrow to make the world a better place is your vision, should be your vision. Thank you very much. And uh, congratulations with your graduation. And I, I would like to thank our uh, parents as well for, for all the support they, they, they have been shown, they have been showing throughout the year, especially this year, and all the faith and trust uh, that they have shown uh, in us, in Amity College. And if you have other uh, sons or daughters, please keep trusting in our uh, skills and keep supporting us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Erdogan. Year 12 marks the end of 13 years of schooling for our graduating class of 2021. The students that sit before us today are proud and accomplished. However, they were not always the young men that you see today. So teachers, parents and guests, please sit back and enjoy watching just how much our graduates have changed and grown. Cheers to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost in the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain when I believed in forever and everything would stay the same Now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be alright Gonna raise a glass and say hey. Here's to the ones that we got to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your Memories bring back, memories bring back your there's a time that I remember When I never felt so long And I felt all of the hatred Was too powerful to stop Now my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya And you know I'll never try Yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. So Everything gon' be alright Cheers to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not Cause the dreams bring back 
Yourself some friends or you'll be lonely Once I was you seven years old We thought we were bigger Pushing each other to the limits We were learning It was a big, big world But we thought we were bigger Pushing each other to the limits We were learning quicker By eleven, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor Never rich, so we were out to make that steady bigger Once I was eleven years old My daddy told me Go get yourself a wife or you'll be lonely Once I was eleven years old Always had that dream like my daddy before me So I started writing songs, I started writing stories Something about that glory just always seemed to bore me Cause only those I really love will never really know me Once I was 20 years old, my story got told Before the morning sun when life was lonely Once I was 20 years old I don't believe in failure Cause I know the smallest voices They can make it major I got my boys with me At least those in favor And if we don't meet before I leave I hope I'll see you later Once I was 20 years old My story got told I was writing about everything I saw before Traveled around the world and we're still roaming Soon we'll be 30 years old I'm still learning about life My woman brought children for me So I can sing them all my songs And I can tell them stories Most of my boys are with me Some are still out seeking glory And some I had to leave behind My brother, I'm still savvy Soon I'll be 60 years old My daddy got 61 Remember life and then your life Becomes a better one I made a man so happy When I wrote a letter once I hope my children come and visit once or twice a month Soon I'll be 60 years old Will I think the world is cold Or will I have a lot of children Who can go me Soon I'll be 60 years old Soon I'll be 60 years old Will I think the world is cold Or will I have a lot of children Who can go me Soon I'll be 60 years old Seven years old, Mama told me, Go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Once I was seven years old. Once I was seven years old. Uh-huh. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea. I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you 
find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need you can count on me like one two three i'll be there and i know when i need it i can count on That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. with Amity College do not end here. Amity College has an established alumni body that focuses on long-term relationships with our graduates. It is a way to foster ongoing ties with the graduating class that surround you today and the teachers that have supported you through this journey. Please welcome Adam Sayadi, an Amity College graduate and a member of Amity Alumni to address our graduating class of 2021. Thank you. It is honestly an honor to be able to address all of you. The graduates who have succeeded despite the tragedies of losing friends and juggling HSC in uncertain global pandemics. The educators in this room that have taught and supported these students to achieve their best, and of course to the parents who have paved the way for their own children to flourish here today. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, staff, and alumni. My name is Adam, and I'm representing Saga as its vice president. Firstly, congratulations on your successes and achievements to date. You've just closed a difficult yet as you would agree, rewarding chapter of your life, only to start an even more exciting one. Saga wants to celebrate all of you for making a positive impact in your community 
this year and throughout your schooling. At Amity College, we don't believe that your connection with each other ends today, but rather it becomes stronger and stronger as time passes as graduates. This is a special day for us. As a graduate, it's been quite a few years since, but if there's something that I've learned, it's that things will fall into place. For many of you, university will be the next step, but more than knowledge, these next steps will equip you with the skills. It's gonna teach you how to think. These next few years are going to be some of the most enriching ones of your life because you'll be pushed outside of your comfort zone, much more than you were in school. However, I found it was a pleasant surprise to realize that regardless of your choices, regardless of the path that you take, you will always have friends, family, and a community here around you, otherwise known as Saga or the Shula Amity Graduates Association. Remember this, Saga isn't really a thing, it's not an organization, it's not a school project, it's all of us, it's all of you sitting here today, fellow graduates, staff, students, parents, supporting each other, that's what we truly are. Since 2015, we've endeavored to encourage brotherhood and sisterhood amongst alumni, Amity College and the greater community. We have successfully uh, hosted several events and initiatives whilst embracing the efforts and ethos that has contributed to our school successes. Our next event is this Sunday, which is a combined event of the opening of Adam Goer's Garden, where we'll commemorate and reflect on the ways that Adam has touched the hearts of so many. Fittingly, we will also have the tree planting ceremony where you, the graduates of 2021, will place a permanent marker of the friends you made and the legacies you've established by planting a tree. And of course, afterwards, we'll be having a barbecue with lots of meats and some vegetarian options as well. If you're available, please do join as we can commemorate your becoming a graduate and most importantly, commemorate Adam in the opening ceremony of the garden. It's a great privilege to represent Saga and address all of you. So I'd like to leave you with this. It resonates with both the school's aims, as, the, as, as Mr. Erdogan had mentioned, uh, the school's vision and the school's mission, and Saga's values, that you graduates here striving to be leaders in your communities, in your families, and in greater society. But you may be asking yourselves, how do I become one? And how do you know when you've finally become one? John Quincy, a statesman, attorney, diplomat, and writer said that if your actions inspires others to dream more, to learn more, to do more, and to become more, you are a leader. And so I encourage you to open doors, accept support, and help each other, inspire each other to be genuine and to succeed in your own different paths. Thank you. Thank you, Adam, for your inspiring words. As teachers, we do more than focus on academic achievements. We encourage our students to be kind, compassionate, and well-rounded gentlemen. We would like to take this opportunity not only to thank the Year 12 teachers who have worked tirelessly to support our graduating class of 2021, but thank all of the teachers that have helped shape who they have become. Thank you, teachers, for all of your hard work and dedication. <laughs> Gentlemen, every teacher that has stood in front of your classes from your very first day of Year 7 to your last class of Year 12 has left an imprint and moulded you to become the gentleman that you are graduating today. Please take the time this afternoon to thank your teachers. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the final roll call. I would like to call upon Mr. Hassan Dalo, Boys High School Principal, to present you with your graduation certificates. Gentlemen, as your names are called, 
please collect your graduation certificates, exit the stage from the left and return to your seats. Twelve BA West Sam Meldon Adam Emre Aknar Mohammed Al Zahawi Zain Alam Sayed Ali Dervish Baradan Haiti Denny Mohammed El Kir Yusuf Hamzi Alan Harbosh Tarek Husseini Daniel Carr Navid Kalagi Zaid Marabani Zafir Malik Ali Murhi
Ibrahim Nasir. Jabril Singara. Ami Sultan. Yasa Urgun Tamur. Oma Yilmazla. Hussein's Rake. B. Imran Abbas. Zane Adams. Anas Ahmed. Mohammed Ahmed. Abdalla Ayas Adam Almanzor Mohammed Al Kaisi Mohammed Bassoon. Mohammed Dahir Farid Faruqi Ahmed Hamidi (laughs) 
Haytham Hoblos. Haytham Hoblos. Tanzim Hussein. Anas Hussein Agar. Omar Jamal Adeen. Basam Kalaf Ekrem Koja Ehab Musa Umar Salim Bashar Yakub Aga Yasa Yusuf twelve BC Omer Aksu. Farhan Ali Danny Award. Selim Aydouan Ahmed Aydouan
Sirhad Badawi. Imran Shahud Ehab El Nasha. Ali Hassan Burke Karaja Marwan Kayal Ishan Khan Roger Bijak. Karim Masri. Mohammed Mustafa Mustafa Najjar Muhammad Ozjan Omar Sari So and Rami Tafaha. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your graduating class of 2021. Congratulations.
Gentlemen, you are now graduates of Amity College. Please be upstanding for the much-awaited cap toss. Ladies, gentlemen, teachers and graduates, regrettably this does bring us to the closing of our ceremony. It has been an honour to be your MC for this afternoon. We do hope that you have all enjoyed the ceremony. A special thank you goes out to all of the dedicated staff that worked tirelessly to make this event possible. To the graduating class of 2021, we wish you all the very best in your future endeavours. Our graduates are now asked to return their gowns and then are invited to share refreshments in Adam's garden. We wish you a most pleasant evening. Yes. Gentlemen, before you take off your gowns, there will be family photos at the back with our photographer. To our parents and guests, when your photos are taken and well wishes are exchanged, please exit via the hall back doors.